Oh yeah, there she is in all her glory. The big green sexy machine. Big Bertha. you crazy people well thank you very much for clicking on this video and uh, coming back to the channel today is the first ride on Big Bertha oh yeah and it is windy it's pretty cold but uh, I've got my heated gear on so I'm all roasty toasty and uh, I've got to say I absolutely love her for a 21 year old bike she is bloody beautiful big curvy sexy smooth oh god she's lovely and uh, yeah there's a few marks here and there but what do you expect for a 900 pound 21 year old bike and uh, I've never ridden a pan before this first time first time I've uh, owned one ridden one and i got to say I bloody love it she just puts a smile on my face pretty much like the Enfield did the old Green Goblin if you've not seen that video go back and look at that I do miss that bike but you know the circumstances at the time meant you had to go filled it up 30 bloody quid to fill it up I'm not sure how many miles I'll get out of that tank they reckon 240 ish time will tell the one thing she does need is a new set of tyres they're not illegal but they've been on the bike a few years and the bloke that I bought it off pretty much just MOT'd it every year rode it to the MOT station, rode it home, parked it up didn't ride it so they pretty much sat on these tyres which you can feel there's a few flat spots the front's a little bit vague just don't like the wind oh, bit of a side wind, it's like uh, it's like riding a sail been a few like uh, moments where I've gone oh fucking hell we're gonna die as you can see it's another lovely winter's day I believe how shitty and greasy and horrible the roads are and the wind today wow blowing a gale so it's been a few weeks since I picked her up unfortunately I couldn't afford to insure her till uh, payday yesterday she's all done now 220 quid fully comp a 21 year old bike I'm not sure uh, if that's good or bad it's on a policy with uh, one year's no claims my tiger that's on for 15 plus years no claims on that but it uh, makes me laugh with insurance companies in this country they really do rip you off I've been down here for quite a while used to come this way regular Mainly because there's a little bridge, a set of bridges I used to like to jump on the old uh, tiger. Don't think I'll be jumping them on this though. So yeah, she's uh, she's quite comfortable. Lovely big seat on her. <laughs> You'd have to go at some speed over that bridge to jump old Big Bertha. Oh yeah, as you can see, yeah, I haven't got the little man with me. He's proper sulking. Proper got his head up his ass today. Oh, all he was giving me was dirty looks. Because he knows if I don't get his jacket and his harness out and his bag, he ain't going. So he just lay there head under his blanket, giving me the dirtiest of looks. Had a go at his wife, had a go at his daughter. Told them to do one, leave him alone. Oh dear. 
but that's the problem I've got at the moment is I have no buddy pod for him that fits this one and uh, when I when I bought the bike or when I was looking at them for some reason I thought oh they've got a metal tank I'm gonna have to come up with a new buddy pod so uh, I pretty much convinced the wife to give me uh, she's got a beautiful tank bag when she was doing the rocket 3 a uh, magnetic one and it would make a lovely buddy pod and uh, she's quite adamant that I'm not allowed to have it but then when I bought this she was like oh all right for the cause you can have it and I was like yes scored it and then obviously picked the bike up and I was like oh it's a plastic tank because the tank's actually under my ass and that's pretty much just a cover over the air filter so that idea is going out the window so the only um, the only option really I'm left with is to actually buy the Bagster puppy bag which is a purpose made it's the only one tank bag on the market for a dog and uh, in turn I've also got to buy the Bagster cover to attach the bag to so there's 250 quid I've got to find for the little man Bloody horses, bloody horses! Mind you, the way it's going, we might all be back on bloody horses. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I've got to do for him. And it is quite a big bag, but I did think to myself, well, it will give me a bit of storage underneath him. So the uh, drone will fit in there, and my camera stuff. Put a uh, mattress over the top of that, a bit of foam, and uh, bish bosh bash. We have a buddy pod with a bit of uh, storage capability. Not talking about drones, I bought it with me today. First time in ages. Charged it last night, did all the firmware updates. It's too bloody windy. And that's just the way. And it's pretty much why I stopped taking it out of me, the drone. Because every time I charged it, every time I was ready to use it, I'd come out and it'd be too bloody windy. Whether it be on the bike or the kayak. So. It's pretty much still, still not been used really. I think I managed to use it once when we went camping at Whitby. But I will take it with me on the uh, big bike charity ride. As you gotta say, I'm really looking forward to. I think it's gonna be uh, absolutely epic. And just spend time and have a laugh with the people that are uh, on it. Helmet Ed, such a funny man. The works. Fortunately, I never got to ride with him on the helmet head subscribe meet up because he never he never made it till well, pretty much the end he had bike problems and uh so yeah he's doing it this time he's bought himself a tiger 955 in the lovely green so yeah pop over to his channel have a look what he's doing in his preparations for the big bike charity ride he's also a good bike, very talented uh, young man when it comes to engineering you should uh, see the scrambler he's built absolutely amazing and uh, i met an amazing guy last week one thing this bike didn't have was a uh, top box so i found a guy breaking uh, or selling some spare I messaged him i said you got a top box he says yes I said i need all the plate and everything how much 40 quid a beautiful lake so i was like uh, yes please i'll have some of that and uh, I went and picked that up last weekend. Oh, what a lovely guy he was, very knowledgeable. I'll tell you about the ABS light. And as you can see, I haven't got an ABS light on now because that man sorted it. And he basically just said to me, see this button down here? He said, press that button. He says, what, well, it's for ticking over. He says, for five minutes, turn the bike off, turn the bike on. He says, your problem will be solved. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> So anyway, I got home, I did exactly that. Voila! No ABS light. He got three garages full of them. <laughs> and uh, a few of them that he ride, and there's a few that he's just stripping, selling the bits. So, uh, called him the pan man. Now I've befriended him on Facebook because he really is a uh, 
an handy guy to know, especially when you're riding around on a 21 year old motorcycle. But in saying that, 21 years old, and uh, the condition is fabulous, really. And uh, pretty much the engineering that went into these bikes 21 years ago. I mean, the fact that it's got ABS is outstanding. I mean, my 2012 Tiger 800 has got ABS, but it was an optional extra at the time. It's something you had to pay for. Oh, look at these roads. Lovely. Lovely love. Yeah, it was something you had to pay for, so uh, it didn't really come into force that uh, all bikes had to have it fitted as standard until a few years after that. And for a 21 year old ABS system, I've got to say, it works sublimely, There's, it's not intrusive at all. And when you do need it, it works very well indeed. So, if you haven't uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, please do so. Show us some love and support. It's, it's so nice to see um, the channel growing slowly but surely. I'm still, I'm still amazed that uh, 300 people like watching a crazy old man and his dog, even though today unfortunately I am minus the dog. But don't you worry, he won't let me forget about it. He'll be sulking for, oh, at least the next two days. I bet he won't come near me later. He'll just give me a dirty look and he's like, yeah, whatever, you left me here. Myself and my beautiful wife have uh, decided what superheroes we're going to, uh, oh, look at that mud, that we're going to go as on the big charity ride. I'm going to keep that uh, secret for now. If you think you can guess, you put down in the comments below and let me know. I love this bike already. Big, sexy, curvy, green, mean machine. It's got quite a whistle to it. Is that normal? I don't know. Raw with Enfield. Where the posh people send their children because they're all posh, 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 posh. Yeah. That posh kids going to school on a Saturday. Posh children going to school on a Saturday. What is it all about? I told my daughter you had to go to school on a Saturday. I don't want to see today. Look, posh kids just step out, don't you worry. The crazy old man on the green mean machine won't run you over. Posh kids, posh kids! Well, I hope the audio's uh, a lot better today as I've tried the, the new microphone for the first time. Just wasn't happy with the purple panda. Everybody kept going on about how good the purple panda was. I just found it was far too sensitive for my liking. Picks up my heavy breathing too much. You probably notice on a few of my videos. I'm uh, quite a heavy breather. Not in a perverted way, it's just the fact that I'm missing half a lung. I'm asthmatic and I've got COPD. Yes, if you, uh, my heavy breathing annoys you, I, I apologise wholeheartedly. But it's tough, that's just how it is. Well, I'm 42 miles in and i got to say, I do feel quite comfortable. The wind is really picked up now! Fucking hell! 
Fly right in a sailboat. Trust me to pick the wind is bloody day. Oh, that's a bit better. God for them houses. But the wind is bloody day of the week. Mind you, even if I'd have known it would have stopped me. Oh no. I just wanted to get out and ride the big green sexy machine. Oh, well, we're going head on into it now. Let's see what that's like. I can't say that's much better. <laughs> I'm gonna pull over down here and have a wee wee. Cause that's what I need. A wee wee. Oh yeah, for me. Let's get down in the trees where there's a little bit of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Where's it dump their car? Is that mud or is that road? I think that's mud. I'm gonna park it there. Because I need a wee wee. Getting old, you see. Yeah, you drink a can of, can of Red Bull. Oh. You can drink a can of Red Bull and you're going to piss two cans out. Oh, that works. Roasty, toasty, roasty, toasty. That's what I am. So yes, this is my lovely blue, blue top box. Every day on a bike is an adventure. So get out there, enjoy yourself, have some fun. Put some smiles on your face, some smiles for miles. And uh, like I say, if you haven't already done so, please show some love. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell, you can follow all our adventures. And uh, stay safe out there. And every time I do it, I forget to add the link. Whoop, whoop. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Or should I say, joining me? I say, I'll see you here. Oh, God, he's going to be sulking. But, like I say, thank you very much. If uh, you're in a position where you can make a donation for such a worthy charity, Please do so, click in the link below and uh, even if it's just a pound, a pound is a pound and it will go a long way to like I say, such a worthy charity, the Rainbow Trust Children's Charity, uh, they do some amazing things for some amazing families really, for the positions that they're in with having terminally ill children. So, like I say, if you're in a position to, please uh, support us as much as you can and make a donation by clicking the link below. It will take you to the Helmet Head. Blah, blah, blah. It will take you to the Helmet Head Just Giving page. And uh, you can donate from there. Like I say, however much uh, you're, you're able to do so. It's just amazing. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. You'll be able to follow us on more adventures and you'll definitely be able to keep track of the big charity ride, which is going to be epic. Can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Until the next time, stay safe. <laughs>